Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Reyes Herrera from Hospital General de México. Talking about a case about Staphylococcus hemolyticus endophthalmitis. Endophthalmitis is the severe intraocular inflammation that compromises the vitreous cavity. The endogenous endophthalmitis is regarding hematogenous dissemination spread generally by gram positive bacteria. Due to the severity of clinical manifestations and deteriorations of the disease, it's important to recognize the first manifestations of the disease. This case report is about a 69-year-old woman with type 2 diabetes who was admitted by a wellness alteration owing to hypoglycemia, this for urinary sepsis secondary to bilateral palonephritis and acute kidney injury. This was treated with carbapenem. With this, uh, come, it came the remission of the infection. But within the hospitalization, infection of skin and soft tissue type cellulitis appeared in the left ankle of the patient, so that trimetroprim and sulfametoxazole was initiated after five days of treatment there was no clinical improvement and left endogenous endophthalmitis was established at the time hemoculture revealed the isolation of staphylococcus hemolyticus oxazoline resistant consequently vancomycin was commenced though clinical progression of the infection was too advanced so the service of ophthalmology due to the risk of continuance to central nervous system, decided to enucleate the left eye, which was reported by pathologists as uveitis with presence of gram-positive cocci. Local and systemic inflammation response was remitted after vancomycin treatment. In the image, we can see the gram-positive cocci due to uh, the Staphylococcus hemolyticus isolated in the hemoculture. In conclusion, poor prognosis by the rapid progression of endogenous endophthalmitis and systemic implications are the importance to achieve quicker diagnosis and timely treat treatment in patients with endogenous endophthalmitis. Thank you.